r slash ask reddit what hobby is an immediate red flag the only thing i have learned from this thread is that redditors don't know what the word hobby means that's just r slash ask reddit q what popular person does everyone like except for you average a creditor the kardashians yeah that's right and i'm not afraid to say it or r slash unpopular opinion pizza is good 20 care votes posting everything 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 on social media i had a co-worker who texted me at 4 a.m on my only day off begging me to work for them because they were super sick with a stomach bug and i was their only hope i felt bad so i agreed to take their shift they were super appreciative and promised that they would make it up to me i ended up having a ducking terrible day and on my only 10 minute break during my 12 hour shift I saw that they had posted on Facebook that they were so excited about their impromptu mental health day and were pondering whether they should marathon some Netflix and have a glass of wine or take a bath and have a glass of wine. Spoiler alert. They never made it up to me. Edit. Thanks for the awards y'all. I'm sorry to hear that so many of you have had similar frustrating situations arise at work. Cheers to boundaries. That's why I'm that a-hole who never comes in on my days off lol. Honestly just in here to see if anything I'm into is flagging. Fortunately no Warhammer 40k so far. I've always said Warhammer 40k means they have disposable income lol. Semaphore. That sounds like two red flags to me. Semaphore animation. Safe for work. Being a reddit or discord mod. You got it right on the first try. Some of the mods really suck. Ata mod is the worst. They're sub. Their rules. Itter. S. I hate saying this cause I have close friends that are into it, but oftentimes gambling, especially since it's usually a very thin line between hobby and addiction. $10 says I don't have an addition. Only subtraction. From your wallet. I always find parents who partake in or force their kids to do beauty pageants as terrible. I dated a girl in high school that was in pageants. Her whole family was wacko. So I found out our babysitter is in pageants, and to be honest she is the nicest, smartest, well-rounded kid I have ever met. Trust her with our daughter's life. I asked her about it once and she instigated the entire thing. Her parents were skeptical but allowed her and she has continued. And quite honestly she's made it really far and it's going to get her into an extremely good college. They make you volunteer a lot and pair that with her straight as I'm sure she will go far. Not a partier. Her family is super normal. She's probably just a statistical outlier. But honestly it's made me at least attempt to give some pageant people the benefit of the doubt. Edit. Everyone who is wondering why this helps for college. If you haven't ever applied. They ask for extracurriculars and community service. This is very unique compared to say playing soccer and doing 5 hours once a season. This is hundreds of hours all the time throughout the year. It looks better than the average person. Does anyone on reddit understand what a hobby is? Or a red flag? As someone who lives in LA, honestly, any girl that calls herself an influencer. All they be doing is influencing themselves to think they're important lol. That's not true. They influence Starbucks baristas to quit their jobs because of the levels of abuse they drop on them. Collecting nail clippings. Hey Kira. I got 800 horses and I'm not afraid to use it. Gambling. I work in a casino. I'll go ahead and confirm that for ya. People get addicted to pressing the button on slots. They don't even care about winning or losing. They just wanna feel like they might win. My friend and I were walking through the slots area of the casino and just happened to be right next to some old guy who hit the jackpot with a payout of something like $40,000. We excitedly turn to the guy and start congratulating him. He turns to us, expressionless, and grumbles out I put more in this thing than I'll ever get out and goes right back to hitting the button. That was one of the saddest things I've ever witnessed. Anything involving humiliation of other, non-consenting, people or enjoying suffering of other people, making mean prank videos, for example, or watching videos like look at this loser doing something stupid. It's different if the video creator themselves pokes fun of themselves. Because they consent. You are describing a child with internet. Which is why you should never date a child. Collecting alcoholic beverage containers. Especially the same one over and over. 
Had a buddy who called there's beer mountain. Beer amid. Not having a hobby is a no no for me. Didn't realize how big of a red flag this was until I dated someone with no hobbies. The biggest issue is that I have a few hobbies that I'm really passionate about. But, my job very quickly in the relationship was to entertain them at all times. Now I only date people who are at least passionate about something they do in their spare time. Because I need them to understand that it's normal that I use a lot of my spare time for my hobbies. What does one do without hobbies? Child beauty contests. Those thing are all degeneracy, egocentrism and leave a ducking time bomb inside the child's mind. Anybody who looks at their child and thinks I could turn you into a totstitute and sexualize you for the sake of my own pride needs help, or a good kick. Prostitute. Coke fighting. Coke magic on the other hand. You mean in the other hand. Worshippers of hustle culture and fake financial gurus. They seem to just fall into one scam after another like drop shipping, YouTube automation, then to some crypto scheme. The key to making money online is to become a content creator that talks about making money online, to then inspire more people to do the same. Act, it's like an organically formed MLM. I'm amazed no one has said drinking yet. Sure you can be a connoisseur of fine alcohol but there are other people who think getting shit faced to natty lights on a regular basis is a hobby. That's just alcoholism. I'm not having a glass of wine. I'm having six. It's called a tasting and it's classy. It's called a smorgasbord and it's cultural and elegant. Collecting World War II memorabilia but only from the German side. I have a good story about this. I had an English teacher in middle school. He was a very Jewish older man. He had a huge collection of Nazi memorabilia. I asked why. He said I preserve this so no one ever forgets. His grandfather and father started the collection and he kept it going. He didn't do it out of admiration or respect but for the preservation of the terrible atrocities. He organized a trip to the Saint. Petersburg. FL. Holocaust Museum. An entire museum full of middle school kids. Nobody spoke and we all cried. That is all. We went to the Holocaust Museum in DC when I was in 8th grade. Similar experience. Just two buses full of 8th graders crying for hours. LOL. Being into history isn't a red flag. But when it translates to the Roman Empire was a perfect society with no issues or flaws. That's a. Yeesh. Speaking as history nerd myself, I get put off by anyone who's overly obsessed by one particular empire or spends too much time praising it and calling it a perfect society. I find the Incas to be a really fascinating civilization, but I don't pretend that they were a perfect society. As a person being into history myself I couldn't take anyone seriously who drops such a sentence while claiming to know a lot about this topic at the same time. Huffing and attempting to make meth. What about huffing, and successfully making meth? Walter. Crypto. Not I have a few bitcoins, but the ones who think crypto will save the world. Most crypto bros I've met were annoying, insufferable dudes. The first time I met a crypto bro in real life I had given him a ride home from a gig and he spent the entire time passionately expounding how crypto would change every aspect of the world for the better. Stopping only to talk about how all women other than his sister and his mother were horses. Pretty on brand. Making stage TikTok vids. Hard cringe. Horseback riding. She will drain every cent you have to buy horse stuff. You look like you speak from experience. Second hand luckily my friend's girl is the horse enthusiast. He even bought a huge truck for horse transportation for her you need a special license to drive it like group B in the USA. Teeth collection. No a teeth collection is very nice very evil. Smoking weed and making that your personality. Like. I have nothing against weed and have done it myself many times but I just can't stand the stoners whose whole life revolves around it and act like it's a miracle cure for everything. I've generally found that anyone who makes their personality about that one thing is annoying as hell. Be it weed, guns, parenting, working out, sports, warhammer, you name it. And when they land on a new thing it's like, oh shit, here we go again. Making one hobby their entire personality. My older brother once said his hobby is smoking, cigarettes, 
Not sure if that's a red flag or just sad. Edit. He rolls his own because it's cheaper. He literally has to construct the cigarette to smoke it and he probably smokes 8-12 a day. A Marlboro red flag. Has to construct the cigarette like dude this is how people have smoked for most of history lol. I'm pretty sure everyone here missed the word hobby. Definitely a red flag. It's a typical reddit thread where people read the question and then answer the question they wish was asked so they can whip out the old soapbox. Russian roulette. IDK. I'm willing to give it a shot. Guy who spends hours each week on IG. Commenting. Liking and DMing random models they never met. Hollywood celebrity sports worship. Like. Fine if you are a fan but if everything in your life is Star Wars themed. Kim Kardashian themed. Or NY Yankee themed I don't think we will be compatible. The one person who's insanely passionate about Star Wars. Kim and the Yanks. You just crushed their self esteem. People who think you think smoking weed is a hobby. Killing for sport. Sure LaBeouf. Brandishing an axe. Sure LaBeouf. Astrology. Spamming on social media. Crafting furniture made from human skin. Volunteerism or beggar backpacking it is usually people from well off countries going to poor countries and they are generally seen as a drain to in those countries. Worst part is how proud these people are of themselves. Ugh. Glad to not see nerdy hobbies, like collecting comics or building painting Warhammer minis and such, in this thread. Warhammer is a huge red flag because you know they'll never have any spare money. Magic. The Gathering Source. I play Magic. The Gathering. Believe in astrology or any superstitious act of it i.e. don't mind if you're into astrology just for fun jokes, but if you actually believe it, yikes. Playing Destiny 2. Reference I play Destiny 2. Healing gemstones. Man face palming. Public masturbation. That's not a red flag that's a red rocket. Collecting red flags. More seriously. Anything drug alcohol related. I've never seen anyone who makes substance their hobby not have some kind of addiction problem with it sooner or later. Also backstabbing. The literal kind. Not having a hobby would be a red flag. Some of y'all are confusing the word hobby with habit. They ain't the same. Lots of habits you are saying are red flags though. Just not the real question here. But in terms of hobby, a red flag hobby, in my opinion, is no hobby at all. Being only a follower of others hobbies but not being into anything yourself is a red flag to me. Helicopter parenting of child athletes. Running. Trust me I'm a pro. I've been running from my problems for years now. Hope I can compete internationally at some point. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cast you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.